In Affinity Photo, you can select things in a number of ways. One of my favorite ways is using this. Just go to the pen tool. The pen tool is a great way of creating fairly accurate selections very quickly. So click and then click again and you can go around the face and you can see as you do that, you add these nodes and you can just go all the way around and let's just create that and click again. Well, you think that's great. What can I do now? Well, what you can do, just go over here, go to the no tool. You can also press the P on the keyboard. You can go back and forth between them. So I've got the no tool and with the no tool, I can now manipulate this. I can also go in the center and I can just drag, just move it around slightly, so again, drag there, just tweak it slightly, drag again, go in the center between those two, again, click a certain node, just drag that and you might go too far. You can then change the direction points or anchor points. Please put in the comments below, what are they called? I'm not really certain, these points where you can drag. I think they're called anchor points, but depends on the application, of course, that you're used to. And you can see, drag it around there, you just go down this way. Now, at some point you think, oh, don't want that sharp point. Well, you can turn it into a smooth point, just go up here, or smart point. I'm gonna go with smart. And once you've done that, you can then manipulate that and just drag that there, drag that around. And as you do that, you can then manipulate that and so on. You can see you can create a whole range of nodes around this. Well, what can you do then? Press P again, just go back here, selection. So click selection, and now you've got your selection very quickly. Well, what you can also do is you can now save it. Simply go to select, and down to save selection. Now I never use the file. I go for as spare channel. So as spare channel is just saved over here in the channels panel. Really useful panel for red, green, blue, etc. But also for spare channels and selections and other things of course as well. Well, once you've done that, let's just go and create something else. So just go over here again with the pen tool. And I'm just going to do it very roughly. So let's just create a very quick selection there. And you can see, just drag it down and around this book. And with that, I can just click here, close it. Once it's done, I can then again go to selection. I'm not going to tweak it using the no tool. So selection, got that. Exactly the same as before. I can go up here, select and save selection as spare channel. Now you can also right click and you notice, go down here, there doesn't appear to be an option for that. I don't know why they left that off, but still, again, it's over in the channels. Well, what you can then do, so at some point later, you decide, I want to use that selection now. How do I get it back? Simply just go over here, and instead of just clicking it, you could do that, perfectly reasonable. If you click it, you get that, which is slightly odd, but you can, of course, manipulate it, etc. But I don't want that. What I want to do is you need to right click and then go down to load to pixel selection. And you'll see now you've got your selection back. You go to this one and load to pixel selection. And you've got that one. Now, what you might also want to do is go to this one and then click there and then add to pixel selection. So you will now create this selection and that section. They're joined together. So you've now got a new selection. Now, obviously, you've only got the spare channels. Again, if you want to, you can always go to select and save selection as spare channel. And you can see now you've got your selection added together. And of course, you can manipulate it in many other ways, apply effects to that selection and so on. But the pen tool is definitely worth using for creating selections. If you want to fine tune them, I always find it really useful to do that. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.